first processing my emotions of what's going on with me on a day-to-day -day basis and then working with my family, right? And then, you know, other things will unfold from that. But if, for example, I'm busy trying to save the planet and I can't get on with my mother, right? It's, it's really the height of arrogance because my mother is a reflection of the mother, which is the earth. My true relationship with, as a, my true, the true reflection of how I feel about being alive on this planet at the moment is how it is reflected in my relationship with my mother. My true relationship on what, what my true relationship really is with what God is for me. Not the one that I made up, but the one that's for real. My for real relationship with what God is for me is reflected in, in what comes up when I bring my father, my birth father to my awareness. Whatever that feeling comes up, that's really how I feel about God. Right. That's the authentic, the suppressed, sedated version. We have other versions. Usually, we like in a relationship with God, most of us go to what God is as a reaction to our lives, not a response to God. Right. And as a reaction to our suffering and our discomfort, which is coming from the emotional, we make up this rosy relationship with God. Right? This rosy, but none of it's real. It's not real. What's real is how I am with my birth father is going to directly reflect. If I'm angry with my birth father, if I'm unforgiving towards my birth father, if I cannot accept what happened, which is difficult, it's very difficult because we go through intense experiences with our parents. But if I can't do, the, if I'm in a state of anger with my father, my true relationship with God is one of anger. Because the father is a representative of that archetype, the archetype of guidance. Whatever we see in our family that we want to fix is a reflection of what's going on within us that is sedated and controlled from our awareness. And so the real task is, can I go into, can I look at my family and see what's being mirrored back at me? It's like the Father will show me resonances of, of where I'm unable to guide myself. If I'm unable to be my own guidance, I'll be in dissonance with my Father. My mother is about nurturing myself. If I'm unable to nurture myself, I'll be in dissonance with my mother. My sister is about healing myself. My brother is about taking my life to be my teaching. If, I'm, if I don't heal myself, I'll be, in reason, I'll be in dissonance with my sister. If I don't accept my life experience to be valid and the truth for me, I'll be in dissonance with my brother. But we don't even have to know that stuff. We don't have to even know about those attributes. All we have to do is look at our family and see what the feeling is that come up. When I look at my father, how does it make me feel? Where do I feel that in my body? Let me go there. Let me be with that without condition. So that that condition, so I can remove the sedation and control of that discomfort within myself. And I can stop manipulating myself to feel another way than I'm already feeling. And allow that energy to move to a point of resolution. And when it moves to a point of resolution inside myself, the way that I relate to my father will be transformed. The way that I relate to my family members that are reflecting dissonance to me will be transformed. But if I think I can accomplish that by trying to fix them or change them or reason with them, it's madness. It, nothing That has never been accomplished. No one. You can just, through physically and mentally manipulating others, we can just render them in, in a state of quiet desperation. Or otherwise break our ties with them completely. Or otherwise just be inauthentic around them and whoever we are with them. But to actually gain a deeper intimacy with my family, and anyone for that matter, means gaining a deeper intimacy with myself. And the most accelerated pathway of intimacy, which is into me and see, the most accelerated pathway of intimacy is to be intimate with my own emotional state. If I'm angry, it's valid. It's valid if I'm angry. But don't let the anger tell a story and don't act out of that story. Rather, find out where that anger is in my body and allow myself to be with it without condition. Just allow it to be there. Listen to it. Let it have a voice within my being. And it will resolve, it will come to a point of resolution organically at a rhythm that is required. 
right? So that's the only thing that ever worked in my way of relating to my family. It transformed my relationship with every member of my family. What it appears is that because I, I, I watched the reflection and because I didn't try and clean the mirror to get rid of the pimples, right? Because I watched the reflection and went in and sat with those resonances, they no longer have to reflect that to me, right? I, I got the message, right? So they don't have to reflect to me because in, in each family that anyone who is involved in emotional work, in emotional processing work, is an alchemist. That's what we are, okay? That's a, or a changeling, I like the word changeling, but an alchemist, right? An alchemist takes base metal and turns it into gold, and the base metal are these emotional signatures that are passed from one generation to another generation to another generation. And then there's an alchemist born in the family. And the alchemist has developed felt perception where they can feel those emotional signatures. Not just project them into the world unconsciously all the time. The alchemist stands in the center of the family, looks at the family members and feels watches the reflection okay i look at my mother what is the reflection when i look at my mother is it immense anger well actually that's i can tell myself a story of what my mother did to make me angry and 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 look at all the physical events in my life that mirrored that anger but actually that takes me nowhere but if i if i enter the anger within myself right and i go to the causal point of where i'm feeling it and I actually be with it without condition and allow that anger to move to a point of resolution, the way that I'm perceiving my mother or relating to my mother will be completely transformed without changing her. And then that behavior that used to be there, that used to trigger that anger, is no longer necessary. I received the, I got the message. 